Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Jason Reinhardt. He is on the uh, UFC 127 card, right? And uh, that's going down in Australia. That's headlined by BJ Penn and John Fitch. You are taking on a Chinese fighter, yes? Yes, uh, Taekwon Zhang, I believe that's how to pronounce the name. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter what his name is if you're fighting him and you just want to smash him, right? You No, I'm teasing. You're a respectful guy, right? What do you know about your opponent? It definitely does matter. Yeah, I, I respect my every all opponents. Um, he's just a well-rounded fighter, you know. Um, a good guillotine, man. I gotta watch the guillotine, but uh, he's a great fighter, and I can't wait for the fight. Would you say that jujitsu is one of your strengths? I would definitely say the ground game is definitely one of my strengths for sure. Well, um, how long have you been in the fight game? I think you got a late start in it, right? Um, well, I've been fighting 12 years now, so I made my pro debut in 1999 and uh, broke my neck in 2001, and I uh, was now out a year and a half and. Now I'm here, you know, I'm just so thankful to be at uh, Vanderlei's camp, and uh, yeah, it's like a dream come true. Mm -hmm. You know, with Vanderlei, we were talking about Randy Couture fighting at 45. You said you're 42? 41. 41. How difficult is it to maintain the level that you need to as a professional fighter as you do get older? Uh, you know, actually, I feel better now than when I was uh, in my 30s and even 20s. I mean, I feel great. I feel stronger than I've ever been. I'm mentally more tough. I'm, uh, yeah, everything has fallen into place. I'm going to win this fight. Very nice. And this is something that you think you'll continue to do for uh, several years still? Then. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I have another five years left in me, really. I mean, uh, now that I have a camp, I mean, this place is just the best place I've ever been to in my life. I mean, it's just unbelievable. For those who don't know the story, then what exactly happened? How did you break your neck? Uh, actually, it was in 2001 against uh, an opponent. Uh, actually, I finished the fight and won, but uh, uh, you know, it was against uh, Dell Hawkins in Arizona. Um, we fought for the title, and um, I went for the arm lock, and he picked me up, and um, I didn't hook the leg, you know, so you got to hook the leg, but uh, slammed me twice, and then I was out a year and a half, had neck surgery, and I'm just, you know, thankful to be back and training, and you know, now fighting again in the UFC. What'd your doctor say when you told him you were coming back to the octagon? Uh, uh, yeah, they told me I would never train again, never pick up 20 pounds over my head. And so, you know, I mean, you got to respect the doctors, but they're also, you know, they're, they want to be extra careful, you know. So it's all in your mind, you know. So uh, just kept pushing forward and never giving up. God, that is quite a, you know, people come back from different kind of injuries, but a broken neck is, is a lot more serious. And there was no hesitation on your coming back, your first fight back, you know, mentally, or, or if not physically? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy because it's like, this is all surreal real you know like when I was in my neck brace I was laying in bed and all I did you know watch Van Lee's fights you know that's it I'll watch all his fights and just so much motivation and inspiration and now I'm here training here it's just unbelievable so you know um, but uh, no I mean the, the neck uh, injury was a bad injury but it's uh, you know you keep pushing forward and never giving up you know and you can accomplish whatever you want how did it turn out that you ended up training here with Vanderlei? Well, I, I, you know, I, in the middle of my camp, in the beginning uh, in Chicago, I was training at a place, and um, you know, I just uh, had to make some changes. Is that Militic you used to train with? Uh, I, I used to train at Pat Militic's school for a lot of years, and then he sold his gym, and, and no longer is the gym is open. And then I was training for the last three weeks at a camp in Chicago, and I had a chance to change camps and. Uh, and this is, a, I believe God put me here, you know, for sure. Well, so you've got um, a few weeks left, right? Yeah, absolutely. I have, uh, leave here uh, the February 17th, and then uh, the fight is the 27th. Okay, now I know some people don't like to make predictions. I know you said you're going to win, but do you have a way you'd like to win this fight in a certain style? I, I do, but, uh, you yeah, know, just uh, I have my, uh, yes, I have a very good pl uh, plan. So uh, I'm going to I'm gonna win this fight for sure. Okay, and I guess you're looking for either a KO or a sub of the night bonus in there somewhere. Yeah. The way I can see that twinkle in your eye. That'd be great. Awesome. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, and, and, and you know, congratulations on the ability to return and, and be a contender in the sport and, and to keep going and, uh, and keep doing it. Thank you very much. I mean, this team is great. It's the best gym I've ever been to in my whole life, you know, in my whole career. I'm very thankful for everybody.